Okay, just going through emails this morning, and Scott from the UK sent me uh, a message saying that he would brought his vehicle in for service, requesting the DB can, the reset, and the smoothing. Uh, he watches Andy's channel, he watches my channel, and he has the same issue as the rest of us. His battery, he noticed he's not going as far as he was, so he brought it in. It's a 2017, his model, and he received this uh, Mitsubishi Motors technical newsletter from his service center. I just want to read this to you guys because it's kind of a follow-up to the question and answer thing that we've seen earlier. So, condition, customer complaining of premature traction battery degradation, affected models, Outlander PHEV, concern. Claims have been raised by customers recently over a possible degradation issue of the Outlander PHEV traction battery, questioning the rev relevance of the car's BMU battery monitoring unit calculations. Concerned customers might suggest that the actual battery capacity degradation is less than what the BMU has calculated, therefore restricting the full use of the battery. And that's absolutely true. That's what's happening. These customers might request BMU reset for Outlander PHEV be carried out on their vehicles. Then it goes on to say the field fix. If customers request a BMU reset is carried out on their Outlander PHV, please do not perform this operation. MUT 3 shows this as battery capacity estimated info reset. This is the one that my uh, dealer did not do, which everyone is telling me would have set the car back up to 40 amp hours. So if you reset the battery information, it thinks it has a brand new battery in there and it reads the full capacity. And Kyle was telling me, no, they want a top buffer. Then people online actually got back to me and were saying, that's nonsense. There is no top buffer per se. You get a buffer in the battery, which runs on voltage, either drawing or charging. Run off of uh, strict voltage. So I don't know. I'm a tech guy, but I'm not <clears throat> that technical. Anyway, they're saying, do not perform this uh, battery reset. If a customer requests battery capacity check compensation, then please only perform DB cam drive battery capacity automatic measurement. Also inform them that the battery's SOH state of health calculated by the BMU through regular normal charging always adjusts to match as close as possible to the actual SOH of the battery. This is the same nonsense that we got in that original, uh, those original letters. Uh, never, so for every vehicle which is not used under normal European driving conditions and are never charged via normal charging. Well, you need to define normal then, Mitsubishi, because when I read that statement, what is normal to you? Uh, before the beginning of the procedure, take a data list snapshot of BMU data and send it on to the TSR, to the technical department. We can confirm if the procedure is required. Item 18 on the list indicates the battery current capacity figure. This should increase after the successful completion of the procedure, and we know that it will. Um, then it goes on to state how to perform the DB cam. So, um, when I got my paperwork back from Mitsubishi here in town, I was disappointed again when I actually sat down and looked at it. When I originally went to pick up the car, they said, oh, you, we've got paperwork for you attached to your, uh, to your bill. Uh, but I didn't look at it. I just kind of, they just kind of leafed through it and I saw, oh, there's some technical stuff there. Great. That's what everyone wants. But then I come to find out that this is just a, an online uh, bulletin that anyone can download and as soon as I looked at it I knew this is pretty generic stuff. What I wanted and requested from the dealership was, hey, tell me what your guy did in what order. Did he have a problem? Did he need the battery full? Did he need it empty? Because I heard both requests from my dealer. Um, you know, just what did he do? Take some snapshots of the, the software along the way. Uh, tell me when you have to take my car out for 40 kilometers and drive it to drain the battery. None of that's listed on the work. I didn't really get a real work order with what was listed on there and what wasn't. So, and I would assume that anyone bringing their vehicle in, that's you're going to get the same thing. They don't want to tell you any more than they have to, and this is what they're going to be doing to vehicles from this point out, which is just a DB cam. So there's the boat behind me, guys. We just did uh, 195 kilometers, and I'll show you the data for that. That's probably 700 pounds worth of. Uh, weight there with the boat and the trailer and everything so still got three kilometers left in the tank but I'll show you guys the information 7.6 liters per hundred kilometers and 25.6 kilowatt hours 43 percent EV driving and that's 194.4 kilometers and then a guy needs to remember, don't try to back your car into the garage with the boat still behind you. <laughs> I almost did that. You know you're old and an EV driver when you go down the Beach Memorial Way 
not to check out all the hot young people in their summer swimming attire, but because it's a 40 kilometer speed limit and you want to save electric. <laughs> okay guys, I just got home from another 272 kilometer trip tonight. I ran to Sudbury and back. So basically three and a half hours there and back. And I wanted to point out that uh, I'm going to show you guys the stats for the car. Something is different with the gasometer. When we got back to town, I turned the car back into EV mode with 12 kilometers to go from home and the car was showing 13 kilometers on the gasometer. So I just drove 12 kilometers and the gasometer is still showing 6 kilometers. So something is off with the way it's reading since I went in and had the battery uh, cell smoothing and the BMU reset and the DB cam. Something is not reading right when you go on long trips. There's more energy, like I'm driving three kilometers pretty much for every kilometer it's showing on the gasometer. It, it never did that before, so something, I don't know what it is. There, we're just sitting here not even driving and it dropped a kilometer, so it's having a hard time adjusting to uh, its new self. 272.1 kilometers. 7.1 liters per 100 kilometers and 21.6 kilowatt hours that's not towing anything today and that was with the air conditioning on the whole way to Sudbury and back